What's up everyone? I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and this is the UBCO or, or UBCO, I think UBCO, the UBCO 2x2 utility bike. It is a dual motor, basically an electric motorcycle. Um, they, they advertise it as a utility bike, an adventure bike, uh, but it's got two 1000 watt motors, one in the front wheel, one in the back, both providing power at the same time. This thing is so much fun. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by The More Expo, the Midwest's number one adventure travel consumer expo. Artemis Overland Hardware. They have one of the largest selections of overlanding gear available. Big Iron Overland Rally, where Overland Expo meets music festival. Shop Overland Apparel, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. Open Road Four Wheel Drive, makers of affordable, high quality winches and recovery gear. Outback RV of Texas, the best place for overland adventure trailers. And Moon, makers of the Moonshade Portable Awning. This thing is so much fun just ripping down the dirt roads. Uh, let me go over the specs of this thing real quick. Top speed, 30 miles an hour, uh, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're tearing down a dirt road, 30 miles an hour is quite a bit. Um, weight capacity, 330 pounds. So this thing is designed uh, to be a utility bike. So uh, you've got options for platforms, both front and rear. It's got uh, attachment points all over this thing uh, there 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 on the back on the side here so you can actually attach quite a bit of gear to this uh, now i'm not going to say this thing is an overlanding bike but i mean short distances it could be with the battery it weighs 145 pounds has a range uh, with this battery which is the standard battery it's a 2.1 kilowatt hour battery um, you got a range of about 50 miles. They do offer a larger battery that's 3.1 kilowatts. It has a range of 75 miles. So uh, of all the e-bikes that I've owned, of all the things that I have, uh, have ridden, this definitely has the longest range of any of them. It's, it's quite impressive. It has some very nice hydraulic disc brakes. It has actually adjustable suspension so you can adjust the dampening you can adjust the rebound uh, both on the front and the rear shocks and it will soak up the bumps really really well everything on the bike is controlled by the ubco app uh, this thing serves as your readout so you got your speedometer you've got the temperature of your motors uh, what your settings are your runtime your regen settings all that sort of thing and you can go into it and totally customize its power output, its regenerate. Um, it even has a learner mode. So if you're just getting this, or maybe you want your, your kids to be able to ride it, you can put it in learner mode. And it, it really dumbs down all the settings and makes it super easy to ride. Uh, turn the, the lights on and off, set your, your units to imperial or metric. Um, and then you've got all kinds of settings, um, uh, firmware updates, diagnostics, um, all that sort of stuff. It's a, it's a very handy and useful app. 
This bike does come in two different versions. This is the two by two uh, work bike. It is uh, designed to be a utilitarian uh, electric motorcycle utility bike kind of thing. It's designed for off-road trails, um, farm use, um, hunting use. So, you know, you've got all the gear attachments. If you want to, you know, take something like this out into the woods to get to your deer stand without taking a, a four-wheeler or a truck or that sort of thing, I mean, this thing would come in handy. Um, so that's what this one is designed for. They also make a, a two by two adventure bike, which um, is designed a little bit more for the road. It is street legal. This particular version is not street legal. It does not have uh, blinkers on it. It does have a tail light and it does have a very nice, uh, super bright LED off road light. But the, uh, the adventure bike version of it, the street legal version of it, comes with an actual heads up display here and a different light, comes with blinkers so that you can register it for use on the road. I think these are classified as, as electric mopeds uh, for use on road. So something like this, commuting around town, going to the grocery store, uh, going to work with that 50 to 75 mile range, I mean, something like this would be incredible uh, for kind of an urban commute. Uh, kind of situation. The suspension on this thing just really makes these type of roads super smooth. It handles the bumps and the ruts and the washboards incredibly well. And the torque you get from the two motors I've got a long, fairly steep and bumpy hill climb here. Let's see how it does. I'd say pretty good. So, um, use cases for, for a bike like this. Um, well, if you've got the discretionary income and you just want something that is a total blast ripping up and down trails, um, I mean, that's, that's obvious. Um, I, I think what this was specifically designed for as far as hunting, so if you're a hunter with hunting land and want something electric that can get you, you know, around your deer camp, that sort of thing, uh, without taking a four-wheeler, spinning gas, uh, truck, that sort of thing. Uh, I think this would be fantastic. Uh, farming, so if, if you're a farmer and own quite a bit of farmland and want something uh, electric like this to, to go check on your crops and go check on your land and, and that sort of thing, I think that is fantastic. Um, van life or serious, you know, long-term overlanding, uh, they make multiple types of racks that you can you know put on the back of your van put on the back of your rig and haul something like this around so you can set up camp and then use something like this to go play on the trails run into town um you know park park your rig in town and then take something like this to go explore uh, the street local version obviously but uh yeah something like that i think would be incredible 
and a whole lot of fun. So, um, the price of this, uh, the, the, the work version is $6,000. The adventure version that's street legal is $7,000. Uh, with the standard battery, you can get, like I said, a, a bigger battery or even a second battery uh, if you if you desire to, to charge. Uh, the charging time on this thing, only four to six hours, which is stupid fast for, for a battery this size. So four to six hours to recharge this thing from zero is pretty impressive. We got ours from Outback RV in Denton, Texas. They are uh, a dealer for these. Fantastic folks. So if you're in the market for an off-road trailer, uh, camper, RV, uh, you, you know, electric utility bike uh, like the Ubco, check those guys out. Give them a call. If you're in that, you know, if you're in that area, stop by. If not, give them a call. Uh, like this is the, the same place that we got our Conqueror um, trailer from that we're going to be living out of in, in about three years. And I, I think there's a really good possibility this thing's going to be going with us. We'll put a, a rack on the back of the, um, of the Conqueror and take this sucker around with us because it is just super handy and the range on this thing is unlike any other mountain you know any other electric bike um you know like an electric mountain bike or electric road bike that sort of thing the range on this is just incredible so um outback rv go check them out give them a call and uh they're fantastic people. The Ebco 2x2 utility bike is just so much stinking fun. Um, anyway, I, I hope you've enjoyed this. It's a little bit different video than what we normally do, but uh, I've I just been having so much fun on this thing. I wanted to share. Uh, so give the video a like if you would. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed to this channel. Hit that bell notification because we go on a lot of cool trips. Uh, as this video is coming out, uh, we've got a, a seven day trip to Colorado that's being released. Karen and I are about to go back to Colorado um, uh, before Overland Expo Mountain West and spend some more time on the trails before and after that. So um, we've got so much great stuff coming. Uh, so hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. Uh, if you like what we're doing, uh, if you're enjoying this channel and want to support us and want access to some special content, want access to our GPS data and special events that we put on uh, for our patron supporters. Look at the Patreon link in the description. And for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise, go to shopoverlandapparel.com. I'll see you next time. Bye.